Mission Control, we've got an EM disturbance radiating from 40 degrees port side. Verify clearance of satellite traffic. Over. Roger that, ISS. There's a signature on your port side, but JPL determines it may be from a low emission solar event. Copy, Control. But we have no particle signature. Captain Peters will be conducting a maintenance walk and wants to confirm clearance. ISS, we do have a visual of something unusual on your port side. If Captain Peters is prepped for that walk, he may have a visual on what it is. Uh, Mission Control, this is Captain Peters. I... there is something outside of the craft. Captain, there's a large mass just off your port side. Radar and observatory telemetry are trying to approximate what it is. It might just be dust blown over our fuselage from our evacuator valves, or... Wait, I do have a visual. It's dark. It appears to be... saying was at 608 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Ukraine's Delta Observatory recorded exactly what you predicted. An increase in carbon dioxide and sodium in the Martian troposphere. You went to the PA system for that? Doesn't that confirm it once and for all? No, I'm just looking at these latest images. And? I was correct. <laughs> Mount Olympus is going to erupt today. See, I told you. It just picked a heck of a day to do it. I mean, that confirms it. I'm just trying to add a little fanfare, babe. You just made history. I mean, an eruption from Olympus Mons of this size is unprecedented. Most scientists thought the volcano was dormant. Believe me, okay? I feel validated. <laughs> After 10 years of eye strain tracking topographical changes and chemical signatures on Mount Olympus, I was not gonna miss this. I take it Junie didn't exactly take it okay when you got called in. She was livid. I promised her I'd be with her today for a post-surgery checkup. And you called. I mean, Mark's with her, but I'm not going to be winning the Stepmother of the Year award. Look, I could take over for you. You could give me a promotion. I'm tired of hiding in your shadow anyway. Yeah, and how would that look? I can't promote you. You're my brother. It would look like I'm playing favorites. Yes, you are. Besides, you owe me. Well, I owe you? Absolutely. All those times I covered for you, I turned a blind eye when you took my Trans Am out on your little midnight runs, wink. All right, not worth a promotion. You were 12. Oh, that's weird. What is it? Hang on, let me get this up on the monitor. Our telescope captured these three images of Mars from 15 minutes ago. Whoa. Yeah, you see that? That ejecta was traveling incredibly fast. Is that from the initial eruption? Looks like it. Wow. The amount of force to eject something like this into the Martian orbit must have been immense. I mean, at that speed, solid rock would have disintegrated into the atmosphere. This outer shell must have some kind of crystallized element. You know, now that it's an asteroid, given its heading, it could qualify as an NEO. You want me to sound the alert? <sighs> yeah. CC all agencies. NASA, JPL, Meteorological Societies, everybody. It's also got this really weird chemical signature. Some kind of chloride gas and a huge drawdown of nitrogen along its path. I can't figure out what's generating the chloride, though. Wait a minute. Hang on, these are all from Washington, D.C. All observatories on standby for military guidance. Lieutenant, what's our last time to see ISS impact? 11 minutes, sir. Oh boy. Check the security system. We've got company already. Oh, 
That must be the military guidance our alert warned us about. Need additional intel from the Pentagon. No, sir. Only meet Dr. Allison Fisher at Falcon Observatory and proceed according to briefing. Listen to me carefully. This is going to escalate quickly. This is a threat response to an incoming asteroid. Do you understand? Sir, the Joint Chiefs did mention that the nature of the object remains open until we can confirm it. I understand that, but if our messaging isn't precise, every tinfoil hat within 100 miles will be there. Do you understand? Sir. Let's go. Let's go see what they want. I just got an alert. The ISS has fallen off of radar. There were a dozen astronauts on board that. I worked with those guys for over a year. Okay, it might just be a glitch in a receiver somewhere. No, 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 I mean, uh, I know. I mean, do you see this reading? A large object got extremely close to their sensors. That's roughly the same size as the object we detected from Mars initially. Hang on, the trajectory model just traced its path over the past few minutes all the way back to Mars. This is the exact same objective we just saw. How can that be? Come on, that takes 14 minutes to get a radio signal from Mars. Are you trying to tell me something ejected from Mount Olympus going three million kilometers a minute? Well, whether it's the same object or not, predictive model gives it a 50% likelihood of impact within 1,200 miles of the city. What can we do for you, sir? Dr. Allison Fisher? I'm sorry, what's going on? This facility is for authorized personnel only. I'm General Reed in Fort Garrison, New York City. That is Lieutenant Harris. Okay, hold on. General, General, we're doing sensitive work here. I need confirmation from command, right? These are our official orders and a DOD confirmation for a national threat. Here, give me this. Excuse me, General. Handing over this facility is not normally something we do. <laughs> I've been breaching this facility under the state of the art, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it's equipped with nanometric laser guidance, a deep field telescopic range, a meteor analysis lab. That's exactly what we need to find out what this is, what it's made of, and where it's headed. <sighs> NASA and the other space stations sent out a signal barrage with no response from it. Sir. No response expected, Lieutenant. Give the Falcon Observatory database a security lockdown. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Uh, it will take a bit for me to breach the observatory's firewall, but all live streams are secure and classified. Hey, you cannot shut down our system. We need to know what this object is made of. We'll have a spectral analysis of it in a minute. And what its dimensions are. Okay, well, initial data indicates that it's oblong. Wait, what did you just do to our shared database? We're closing your live international feed so deployment of our military assets won't be compromised to our enemies, okay? We need to take us to your command center, now. Christ. No. But we fall under the UN Security Clause. All data between observatories has to flow both ways. We can't gather data on a closed system. Sir, Dr. Fisher does have a point. If she receives updates from observatories further east, then she can precede our visual confirmation. Lieutenant, protocol demands that we do not advertise orbital security. Yes, sir. General, I strongly advise against locking down our system. Doctor, I'm aware. This is a matter of national security. General, we have an open database for a reason. Our counterparts in Ukraine were able to stream a burst of carbon dioxide and sodium an hour before we could detect it ourselves. Dr. Fisher, it is imperative that we treat this for what it is, a natural disaster addressed by the United States military. General, I need this database open. Henry, please advise your sister not to mistake her expertise in astronomy for a command position. Sir, Henry is orbital reconnaissance. I advise him. I am the lead astronomer here, and this is physics. The more you devote to defense against humans, the less you devote to defense against this threat. Now, I cannot, I will not let you in here until this database is open and under my control. It's yours, Dr. Fisher. It's yours. Get me an updated heading. Okay, I run an open source program to ensure that this database remains open. Permanently. Uh, confirmed. Data is global. Okay, I'll need continuous updates. Okay, I just received an APB. Space Force and my former commander are saying they can't keep up with this object. This thing made a 90 degree turn seconds after entering the atmosphere. I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but anything over a 30 degree trajectory adjustment, that's a UFO. Okay, it's an unusual descent, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a spacecraft. Can't be right. This says the object is slowing down. JPL and NASA confirm it. The object is down to 800 kilometers an hour. 
New projected updates, 58% likelihood it's going to impact D.C. Something else is ejected from the Martian surface. What? This is nine objects flying in a B formation. Come on, Allie. These are spacecraft. Pentagon, Command Level Omega. Overall Intel records incoming 09 objects. We've received priority alert. All agencies have confirmed that all units are activated. Standing by for coordinated response. Okay, Henry, pull up a trajectory model. Make it a sliding-based algorithm based on its current speed. General, with this object in our atmosphere and these nine other craft on the way, this is no longer a natural disaster. Okay, Doctor, give me uh, data on its propulsion. The Air Force will need to know the limits of its maneuverability. Okay, run a multi-source algorithm based on the trajectory. Map it to all known means of propulsion here on Earth. Done. This algorithm defaults to zero. The thermal signature is zero. I mean, this is... It doesn't even have an atmospheric wake. There's this, it's like it doesn't have a propulsion system. Okay, I'm reducing the polarized filter, narrowing the lens aperture. Try it again. Nothing. Come on, this telescope isn't missing anything. Harris, make sure commandos get those jets in the air. Sir. Attention, all units. This is Command Omega. We need all birds in the sky. I need ground units five minutes ago. I repeat, all units move out. This is not a drill. This is Peter Spirit. Onward. What's our updated ETA? 40 minutes to impact to DC. Okay, spectral imaging reports are complete and no traces of ionization. Thermal imaging still shows nothing. Sir, the DOD says they need immediate intel on the object's hull. Well, there's nowhere to tell, not yet anyway. And according to the angle of its descent, it's no longer heading to Washington, D.C. It's going straight to New York City. How can we be certain these bogeys aren't from Russia? China. General, nothing on Earth is capable of moving that fast without breaking the sound barrier. It's triggered a full global threat response. The DOD is sending in Air Force Captain Ogilvie to manage logistics at the projected landing site. These craft could be trying to check out the closest viable planet, Earth. Look, there are too many unknowns. If the Pentagon gives the order, all military will move to annihilate it. Hang on. It readjusted its heading again. Okay, predictive models show a 91% chance it's going to land at Rockefeller State Park. That's 25 miles north of Manhattan. Okay, look, we need first-hand intel on the ground to assess its vulnerabilities. Uh, Dr. Fisher, you're the expert on Mars' environment. What can you tell us from the field? Uh, I can run telemetric scans to measure its structural integrity. Maybe even get some samples of whatever life form might be inside. Hey, look, I served with Ogilvy. If anybody's going to the landing site, it's going to be me. What? No, Henry, you don't even know what kind of data I need. You're your recon. Exactly. Okay, th that's my point. We have nine incoming craft. We need to supply real-time scan data to the ground troops. I can go there. I can set it up. I can assess. I can do the tests. I mean, it's your program. Given Henry's prior military status, it saves us time getting him clearance. Doctor, I recommend that you help us track the other nine objects. You can join your brother after the landing zone is secure. OK, Henry, when you get to the landing site, just send us live telemetrics of the ship's hull's density and whatever else might be inside. I'll keep it on a continuous scan. Just be careful. You're the only brother I got. Pull back! Pull back! Let's go! Fisher, you're with me. Get back to the perimeter. Command said that the Falcon Observatory was sending you over. I was wondering how long it would take you to come back to Space Force. <laughs> I loved my time on the ISS, but I figured I was better served in recon. Well, you made the right choice today. ISS was destroyed. We lost over a dozen men. You didn't know. Sorry, Henry. I was afraid that was the case when we lost contact. Look, we're going to want payback for the ISS. You, me, the DOD. But honestly, it just doesn't make sense to escalate a fight with nine incoming craft. Okay, I'm live here at the landing site. It's been over an hour since I started. Hey, 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 get out of here! Get out of here! That's my friend. Get out! This area is closed! Escort! Escort! 
See what we're dealing with here? I'm telling you, this whole situation could blow up in our faces in a heartbeat. We're shooing kids out of here, getting people out of their houses, while the DOD is holding fire to cut the risk of retaliation. If they decide to attack, what's the plan? Pull back by 200, artillery, and every heavy weapon we have but a nuke. And if that doesn't work? Captain, the Pentagon says the other nine craft are incoming northwest, 10 degrees. Copy, Graves. Maintain combat formation, sustain the perimeter. If heavy weapons don't work, I don't know. Okay. Uh, we've exhausted all possible signals and frequencies trying to contact this thing. Now I'm down to a speaker and a spotlight. Look, I need to learn everything I can about the creatures and their craft. I need you to get me as close to that thing as possible. I can take you to the front line, but remember, we're going in blind, Henry. Don't know what could happen. But it's just sitting there waiting. What do you think? Listen, you're a scary man back in basic, but this, we don't mess with this, okay? Get in, get your readings, get out, okay? Yeah. Ready? I'll take point position. Sir, I received a request from 22nd Infantry. OC says, quote, General Reed knows we need to tear the throats out of whatever's on that ship. Forward the strike request to Joint Chiefs. Tell our CO to hold their fire and we might be able to de-escalate. Sir. Dr. Fisher, any updates? Uh, yeah, um, I've got Henry sending live data. Uh, looks like radio waves are nominal, infrared, thermal, optical, microwave. Wait a minute. We're getting a thermal reading. There's movement inside the craft. Let's go south, we got the whole world ready to toast this thing. I got soldiers posted there, there, and there. And right, news crews are about 200 yards behind us, behind a barricade. Take that as the initial fallback marker. This is Pentagon, Omega for General Reed. Go for General Reed. General, assets will be engaging the target before it begins its next maneuver. We have an Air Force coalition running time maneuvers spanning the entire Northeast region. If Falcon detects any further incoming, we may issue death cod. Copy, Omega. Okay, they're at 28,000 feet. Now, they're circling back around New York. ETA, 28 minutes. Henry, those ships are closing in fast. If you're gonna make contact, do it now. Fisher, if we don't hear from these ships in 30 seconds, there is a good chance the DOD will launch a scorch earth assault on them. The line between action and intel is razor thin here. Omega, we are standing by. Copy. Astronomical intel will guide strategic response until we decide otherwise. We cannot afford loss of life, even by an extraterrestrial. Okay. Let's try two short pulses with the light, then one long pulse. Okay. I'll try the same with the speaker. The sound came from under the ship. There's something moving under there. I can't, I can't tell what it is. One of the spaceships is in the park now. Dad, when is Allison coming home? The news is saying that the ships actually came from Mars. Wait, is Allison still at the observatory? That's what I'm trying to find out, honey. Hey, how's your leg? Uh, One to ten. A seven, but Dad, I don't want to stay here. I'd rather just deal with it at home. Is Allison going to have to go out there? No, honey. She studies planets. She doesn't have to deal with anything, you know, dangerous. Well, if you talk to her, can you tell her that I'm not mad that she wasn't here while they fixed my leg? And they're saying that the spaceships could be hostile and just, what if, what Honey, if she? Honey, Allie knows what she's doing. She's safe, all right? And she, she knows why you're upset. Dad, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, the ship is opening.
Henry, you need to tell me what's going on down there now. There's some kind of opening in the bottom of the ship. I think they're coming out of the ship. Look, Henry, don't do anything stupid, okay? Just get the data and get back here. Henry, what do you think? <laughs> I think they're trying to communicate with us. If they act aggressive, we're going to have to open fire. Just make sure you do whatever it takes to get away and get clear, OK? Wait a minute. That's Uncle Henry. fired a weapon and destroyed all of our ground units completely. All units, pull back the perimeter to within one mile. Get all civilians in the vicinity inside. Yes, sir. I have received confirmation that everything in that area is lost. All the attack helicopters, all artillery, all... and about a hundred men missing, sir. Be prepared to evacuate. Doctor, we need that data now. Henry, do you copy? Henry, come in! Allie! Everything's been vaporized. Did you get the reading? Yeah. Yeah, I got a reading. It's five times more powerful than a bolt of lightning. Their weapon system is electrical. They're powering up again. They're going to fire their laser into the sky this time. Yes! They opened a portal of some kind in the front of the craft, though it, it, it appears seamless. When the creature came out, you know, it looks like they're trying to acclimate themselves to our environment. You know, they, they, they change colors. Kind of like an octopus. Okay, um, look, I ran an initial profile of the data you sent. Looks like their hulls appear to be made of a calcium iron carbon alloy. It's interacting with some kind of biological matter but it's a, also emitted massive amounts of chlorine. But it's not producing any ozone. Okay, what about the skin? You said it was changing colors like an octopus? Henry? Henry, come in! Omega, C, double zero. All units, the target has the city. All nine targets are descending to 50,000 feet. Theta command, NASA. Falcon, pull back to Bravo Point Garrison. Sir, they're scrapping field reconnaissance and ordering all posts to fall back. Doctor, you should pack up whatever provisions you need and leave with us immediately. General, I can't leave with you. I, if you want me to stay and, and process data, I, I need the, the telescope, the imaging programs, the, the laboratory. Doctor, this city, this whole area may be reduced to ashes soon. They're starting to evacuate the city now. My family's in the city. I, I can't leave them. I understand, but you're a mission critical resource. I can't let you just go out into an active military zone. What? You're not detaining me, are you? No, absolutely not. You are a civilian and you're, you're under no obligation to follow orders. I am imploring you, work with me and you will, you will save lives. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm sorry, General. I can't go with you. Look, I can pack up some equipment and set up a makeshift lab once my family's safe and out of the city, but I, I can't go with you. Okay, look, take your radio, 
stay in contact with me. Do what you can. Any info you can give to me will be helpful. Okay. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? Are you and Henry safe? Yeah, Henry was at the landing zone, but he made it out alive. I'm heading over to pick you up right now. If the other spacecraft head to the city and something happens to either one of us... Ju <sighs> is Junie okay? Yeah, yeah, she's doing better, but I think her leg is still bothering her. You know, getting her in and out of the cab this morning didn't help either. Well, let her know I'm coming to pick both of you up. I'm going to take you guys to the bunker at your family's farm. So we're evacuating then? Yes, we're evacuating ASAP. Look, have her ready. I'm almost there. Okay. Hey, listen. Be careful. I love you. I love you. All stations, prepare to move all non-critical... Dad, Dad, what's going on? We gotta get out of here right away. Come on, Anna. Well, is Allison coming? Yeah, she's on her way right now. We're gonna go to Grandma and Grandpa's farm until it's safe to come back. You ready? Hold on to me. Intel. This is Fisher. Do you copy? Falcon, this is Fisher. Do you copy? I was worried you weren't going to make it back. There are a lot of people working really hard to make sure all of us are OK, including me. Hey, Allie, you really think running into gridlock's the best way to go? Honey, I hear what you're saying, but staying here is not going to help us either. Did you see what they did? Yeah, I did. We both did. We gotta get out before they lock us down and the ship start attacking the city. How's your leg? I'm doing okay right now. They only had to put in four pens. Only four, huh? Oh, if I move too quick, it's like a stabbing pain. We're gonna get you somewhere safe and sound. And promise me you're not gonna do any more rail slides off of three flights of stairs. Okay. It's called a grind, and it was only one flight of stairs. And I promise. <sighs> Are we even gonna make it out of here? Yeah. No, we'll be okay once we get past the Queensboro Bridge. There they are. We're flying in formation. Dispatch, this is Captain Fisher from Falcon Intel. Come in. Captain, this is Command Dispatch. We all incoming. Command Dispatch, this is Captain Fisher. All of our transport's been destroyed. We need evac now. Come in. This is General Reed. Go for him to Fisher. This is Fisher. Go, go. Presence of nine other craft is creating an electromagnetic disturbance. Relax. Get out now. Get out now. Please, this is our only way out of the city. Get out, both of you, now! Now! Are you okay? Yeah, we're are okay. Are you okay? Hey, are you heading south? I'm sorry, we can't take you where you need to go. Rebecca, we need to get to my mom. Come on, no, 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 no. This is my ID. Right here, I'm a former military officer. Please, I, I, I just came from the landing site. I work in an observatory. We're doing research on the attack. Please. You did just stop us from getting mugged. But you said we're out of gas. Uh, we're not stopping for gasoline. OK, get in. Thank you. The first ship to land just joined the other nine. They made it into the city. There's no way of attacking them now without endangering everyone. I've seen like 50 fighter jets keep circling around. I don't know what they're gonna do. Current people are like evacuating. Guys, the city's in chaos.
the bunkers around back. Try to make yourself at home. You okay? Yeah. Do you really think we're going to be able to stop them? Don't worry about that right now, okay? The military's doing everything they can to keep us safe, and I'm trying to help. What are you setting up? Oh, a lab, kind of like what we have at work. Uh, it doesn't look like much of a lab. <laughs> yeah? How many labs did you bring? What is that? Oh, this is a picture of what NASA believed to be bacteria taken from a sample from our Mars rover Opportunity. And this is from a meteorite that hit Earth about a year ago, verified to be from Mars. And this is a picture of the ship's hull taken this morning. When I saw the hull, I wanted to compare them. They all look the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's because the ship's hull is an iron calcium carbon protein alloy. And then both the rover sample and the meteorite sample show these vacuoles of calcium left behind from some unidentified chemical process. See, this calcification process occurred extremely rapidly. I mean, over days, not years. I think the aliens might have sent this meteorite to test how our atmosphere would affect them, which could give us clues on how to stop them. Allison, look at this. Car's dead. It's an electromagnetic pulse. Luckily, this device is shielded from EMPs. Yeah, but why are they shooting straight up into the sky? Well, their weapons give off a huge electrical charge, but I mean, it, it could be deliberate to give off those EMPs to knock out electricity as far as possible. Allie, come in, Allie. This is Henry. Looks like they're headed east. Can you confirm that? Allie! Any signal? Nothing. It's dead. I mean, did you see that? Our weapons barely scratched them. Yeah, it's like they have some sort of shield. You know, Henry managed to get a reading from the actual blast off of the ship's heat ray. He said the charge was electrical, but didn't generate any ozone. Isn't that the smell you get after a lightning strike? Yeah, that's right. But this generated a ton of chlorine. <sighs> okay. All right, so they fire electricity straight up into the air, not to create ozone but because they know it'll interact with the sodium in our water vapor in our atmosphere. <sighs> They're trying to create their own chlorofluorocarbons to destroy our ozone layer. Yeah, but why would they want to do that? Because Mars doesn't have an ozone layer. They know they won't survive unless they can turn Earth into a new Mars. I mean, the, the ozone elimination, the nitrogen depletion, thinning of the atmosphere, that's why they have the energy shields because they know that their organic systems will most likely fail when exposed to our atmosphere, leaving behind calcium deposits just like the ones in that picture. All the electronics were knocked out by an electromagnetic pulse. How could an electromagnetic pulse knock out my car? I don't get it. Look, a pulse like that is far reaching. It, it, it affects the Earth's magnetic field. You, you know, it's, it's like a solar flare or an atomic bomb. You're not saying they detonated a nuclear weapon, are you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> they would have taken us out with that, listen. The Department of Defense 
is trying every tactical maneuver to come up with a good defense. Dropping a nuclear bomb on New York City doesn't make any sense right now. My mom is in a nursing home on the island. Alina. And that smell is much stronger out here now. Are we getting poisoned right now? No, 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 listen. Given their advanced technology, if they were really going to deploy some sort of agent, it would have killed us already. Look, we can make it to the observatory. It's protected by the military. And once it's safe, we can go find your mom. Alina, you saw the video of what that ship did to those helicopters. Now there's 10 of them. Well, we have no radio. The car battery's fried. The observatory's only a few miles away. It's time to start walking. Thank you for helping us to the observatory. And thank you for helping us back there. Thanks for giving me a ride. I just don't understand why they're attacking us. Well, since there haven't been any more than the initial 10 aircraft, I suspect they're using New York City as a trial run for a much larger attack. And if that's the case, that means they intend on staying here. And if they intend on staying here, they're gonna have to make this place a lot more habitable, like Mars. How do you know they're from Mars? We confirmed it through our telescopes at the observatory. Their ships produce a chloride gas, which kills nitrogen. If they wanna make this more habitable, they're gonna have to make our atmosphere ozone-free. But that would take a long time, wouldn't it? Because I mean, there's only 10 of them, right? Not necessarily. I mean, their ships produce a chlorofluorocarbon gas. The gas rapidly destroys our atmosphere. And if they're gonna make Earth more habitable like Mars, they're gonna have to eliminate the ozone and leave nothing but oxygen. And that would affect the mass of the entire planet? That can't be possible. If they ignite the oxygen, it'll burn off the oceans. And Earth is mostly ocean. Which would make the Earth's gravitational pull the same as Mars. I can't get what I need here. I have to go back. What are you doing? I need to go to the observatory. It's the only way. What? Look, we're safe here for a while, but not forever, and not for long. They had troops, Air Force, heavy weapons, all surrounding them, all firing at them, trying to stop them, and it did nothing. Allie. Now they're on the move, and we don't know where they're going, or how fast, or what else they can do. But we know they want to wipe us out as much as possible. Someone's got to stop them. Allie. I have to stop them. Allison, listen, you cannot go back out there. No, listen. When they evacuated us this morning, I wanted the military just to wipe them out. I thought they would, but they didn't. Look, they sent one of their top generals to me this morning because NASA doesn't even know what they're doing. They consulted me. The only way to make sure the aliens don't get to you and Junie is to stop them. I have been studying Mars my entire life. I can beat them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Allie. The car's parked on the ground. It shouldn't have been affected by the EMP. Allison, no! Honey, I know, okay? I know. But we have to be strong to get through this together, okay? Yep. Yeah. okay. You guys will be safe here, okay?
Sir, I can't get our communication systems back online. We need to establish a new perimeter outside of the city. No. No. You saw the footage with your own eyes. Our troops were routed every time they went to engage them. Sir, the DOD has evacuated several military installations throughout New York State with transport straight to the Pentagon. We may want to consider doing the same. Did they evacuate this one? No, sir. It's just that some of the other officers recommended that... What? What? That we evacuate? Sir. Until the Pentagon gives the order. We stay! You see the data from the observatory? Pull it up. Sir. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, listen to me. We can run. I hear you. We can run. Or we can stay. And defend people's lives. These creatures have a energy shield. Nothing would go through it. But it isn't perfect. I don't care what enemy we're dealing with. No one has unlimited resources. We will find out their imperfection and we will use it to destroy them. This is Fisher to Falcon Observatory. Fisher to Falcon Observatory, come in, Falcon. <laughs> Ma'am, what are you doing here? I, I have to get New York is under a mandatory evacuation or shelter in place. There is no foot traffic through here. I have business with General Reed at the Falcon Observatory. I'm Dr. Allison Fisher. This is an active war zone, admitting only authorized personnel. Okay. The observatory is quite a ways away, probably another five miles. Has anyone been able to reestablish communication? We've got some generators, most of them fried, but we were able to charge up some of the radios. They're hurling back up. They spread apart, attack us, and hurl back up. They're tripods, that's what the command called them. <sighs> Easton, what do you see? They're about two miles out from you, Sarge. Yeah, I, I saw them just above the tree line. Yeah. They started attacking some residential areas. It was... Slaughterhouse. We weren't able to retreat fast enough. Just planes dropping out of the sky. Bodies everywhere. Like shadows. Just ashes everywhere. You heard the radio. Just about two miles that way. What's your business with the general? I, I, I have to get to the observatory. I have intel on the Martians that might help us develop a weapon to use against them. But I have to get to the observatory lab uh, to run the tests. Is this certain Holleran to Intel 1? Intel 1, go. I have Dr. Allison Fisher from Falcon requesting transpo to the theater. The enemy got within 300 yards of the observatory about an hour ago. Without planes or satellites, we can't tell if the observatory is still standing. <laughs> Sergeant, have any of your units been able to inflict damage on the tripods? Not that I've seen, but we'll get them. We're sending in some big tanks with big guns like you've never seen before. Heavy duty stuff, top secret stuff. I need you to take me straight to the front line. Trust me, you don't wanna see what those I things I know can do. exactly what they can do and right now I need to get close enough to study them, to get a good idea of how they operate, what their weaknesses are. Otherwise, there's a good chance our weapons won't even scratch them. We have to move now. Powering up again, get down! They're gonna fire a 
back to the atmosphere. Get down! Get down! Stay back. Stay right there. We're splitting apart right now, you see? We're about to attack. I don't get it. Your weapons are not even affecting them. They will. We have more coming in. You have to stay here. Stay safe. We have to make it to the observatory. Wait, 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 where are you going? Those are my men. I gotta do my part. Wait, no! They were drawn straight to us like they were trying to kill us. Okay, hold on. I think they're drawn to anything organic. You see, it's like a kudzu vine on, on steroids. Wait, what does that mean? When I was stationed in Japan, they had these vines, these kudzu vines, and the locals had to constantly prune them down or kill them or anything. Otherwise, they would overtake the village. So the Martians planted an invasive species? They're trying to. That's basically it. By feeding on nitrogen, they could have this place terraformed in a week. to the tree line and be quiet. under the doors, block the windows. There's still people out there. Open the door! No, don't open it. Don't open the door. What do we do now? I don't know, but I have to get to that observatory or all of this data is for nothing. Play the footage from Central Park again. You can see it. Here, an F-35 collides with the shield. No effect on the spacecraft. Wait, stop right there. What's that? It's an interference pattern on the screen. It can't always handle high resolution images from the observatory. It stops right beyond the spacecraft. What's the resolution on this laptop? 1080. Then these are interference wavelengths, Lieutenant. The energy shield is vibrating at an incredibly high frequency. If conventional weapons won't work at a frequency this dense, then not even radiation will break through. We would need something measuring 400 kilojoules at least. 
and an ultra high hertz. We have laser weapons both here and at the Pentagon, right? All our military grade laser weapons have been disabled from the EMP. Falcon Observatory has a laser. Can it be modified to fire on them? Theoretically, we could route all the energy to the laser and recalibrate it to fire at an extremely high frequency. But all the observatory systems are shut down because of the EMP. Doesn't matter. Send a priority alert over their network, repeating every 15 minutes. Give them the specifications. Let's just hope one of them, you know, makes it back in time to receive it. Sorry. Hey, 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 over here, over here. Get down, get down. I know where there's shelter. I'm Chris. Allison. Those are the others. We were on the South Bridge when these gigantic red vines pulled the whole bridge down. Me and a few others made it out, but the machines had just kept following it, killing us in herds. They've been hunting and killing us since the bridge. They followed us right into the trees and started eating us. Wait, that's... That's why they didn't just start spraying the planet and planting. They don't have any food, so they have to eat us to keep going. You said their vines were red and they move independently? Yeah, they just kept fall. There it is. We're almost there. Okay, let's go. Hey, Chris. What are you doing? I'm an aircraft mechanic. I worked for a company in New Mexico for over 30 years. The engine looked intact from outside. The fuel gauge would show empty if there's a leak. This plane's off because the circuit was broken on impact. And generally, there's a small toolkit up above the co-pilot side for emergency fixes. <clears throat> and if you can give me a hand, and maybe it moves off, you can seal the connection to the fuel regulator. I'm pretty sure they're gone. Sun's starting to go down. It's not even moving. It's just, it's like it's standing at attention. God, I can't stay here. I gotta get to the observatory. I know if one of us goes out there, it's just gonna pick us right out of the grass. Well, we can't just leave it out there waiting for it to kill us. I'm just gonna have to stay. 
stay here till it leaves. I'll try to keep quiet. Cold turkey sandwiches. You want one? Kinda. Thanks. <coughs> the cockpit radio is broken. But I think I can fix a couple shorter wires. Let's wait until they're gone to do that. It's a good idea, though. <clears throat> Things hurting pretty bad, huh? Yeah. It still hurts pretty bad. Still stings. You think those tripod creatures sleep? Just close your eyes. Try to get some rest. I'll take the first watch. No, uh, no. I'll do it. You're with the defense department. You'll need to focus. I'll take the first watch. I'll wake you up in a few hours. Thanks. Sure you're all right? Yeah. You know I can't just lay there. It'll drive me insane. Well, just watch the leg then. I don't know what the hell those things did, but the wiring around the house is totally fried. And even with a generator, it's going to take days before I can get this place back up and running without an electrician. Well, I'm sure Uncle Henry could fix it. <laughs> yeah, I could do it too, if I had all the time in the world. So what, your schedule's packed now? Totally packed. <sighs> hey, take it easy, will you? I don't want you to hurt yourself again. I mean, I know you're bored and you want to help out, but I mean, you don't have to rush. Do you think Allison's going to be OK? I hope so, Junie. We'll just have to wait till she gets back. She'll make it back. an arm from one of the machines. Hurry up. Get on the floor. Uh, uh, uh. 
you? No, no, I didn't hurt me. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I am. It sounded like something was calling to it. Either way, Dad, you saved my life. That was incredible. The smoke's cleared. Now, the observatory's a mile down the main road. I'm sorry, we can't go with you, Henry. Even if there might still be danger in Manhattan, we have to go there. Thanks for helping me. Thank you for helping us. Be safe. You in here? Ali, this is Henry. Come in. Ali, this is Henry. Come in. Just give me something. Give me something. I need to know you're there. Allie. I'm going to the engine room. I'm going to check the lighting. Judy and Mark, are they okay? God, I hope so. I had to leave them at the farmhouse. I haven't been able to check on them. But Henry, I saw one. I saw one of the Martians. Outside the machine? What? 
face to face, just outside their cockpit. Wait, have you seen the red weeds? Yeah, one of them tried to choke me out in the middle of the woods. They tried to kill us on the South Bridge. Wait, who's us? Well, I, I spent the day yesterday traveling with two girls. We traveled together, and then I spent the night in a cabin. Where did you guys hide out? Long story. But you know what the Martians are doing, right? Yes, they're trying to change Earth into a new Mars. They're trying to destroy all the nitrogen in the atmosphere by planting nitrogen gobbling crops. Once they're down to nothing but oxygen, they'll ignite the atmosphere, and that's going to vaporize the oceans. That reduces Earth's mass. Yeah. And that, in addition to breaking up our ozone layer, ought to make our planet pretty much like home to them. OK, so I took this specimen about an hour ago, and it's jet black, right? If my theory is correct, when it's exposed to bacteria, it'll turn white and die. I saw it happen to this Martian that consumed a man with a badly infected arm. Who? Yeah, just turned bone white and died within minutes. Is that an alert? I opened the message board. It's from 12 hours ago. Here, hold on. The whole system is scrambled. I have to let it run before I can restart it, so. All right, so Mars has half the oxygen content that Earth does, so that species have to overproduce hemoglobin to take in as much oxygen as possible. So like our blood, the iron is critical for oxygen absorption, so they create twice as much of it. Now, you were able to run a scan on their skin before the first attack, remember? Yeah. Yeah, it was calcium, carbon, protein, and iron. Now, I suspect when these creatures die, their vascular system seizes and then drains all the iron from its bodies. Sort of like how our lymphatic system pushes fluid. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So all we have to do is isolate what bacteria the Martians are susceptible to. When the iron drains, it's just going to leave the calcium, turning them bone white, just like when they retreated back into the ship, right? That's right. Okay. So we can ID them one by one with the library's ID function until we identify which bacterium is acidic enough to kill the living skin tissue. All right, but how do we know that's even going to work? because their vascular structure is a closed system, just like ours. They need twice the iron to deliver oxygen on Mars, right? Okay. So that's twice the red blood cells. That only leaves half the room for white blood cells. Henry, they have no immune system. <sighs> okay, so I've separated a single bacterium. You run the program and tell me how it identifies it. Okay, got it. First one is Clostridium perfigens. Common name's gangrene. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, the alien I took the sample off of died like seconds later. So it must have only had trace amounts of gangrene. Okay, that's not it. Yeah. All right, we'll try again. All right, let me get another sample up here. Okay, okay you ready? Yeah. Okay, this one is pleomorphic bacteria. That's just common bloodborne bacteria. All right, here goes nothing. And it did nothing. There's gotta be at least 12 strains of bacteria on this sample. Jesus. They're getting closer. Can we do three or four of these at a time? No, unfortunately not. That would compromise the results. Okay, go. Okay, this is streptococcus. That's the common strep. All right. That's it! That's well, it. Well, okay, no, that's just the first sample. That's just a control. All right, we've got to reproduce the experiment. And... That's it! There right it there! <laughs> it's the strip. Oh, God. Jesus. This is your two spirit, over. Is anyone else still flying? Copy, spirit, this is Rex, over. I have visual on the tripods. Payload is primed. Is this close to the city? Are you sure? Rex! That's it. Weapon hot. Let's smoke these bastards. What we got? Okay, well that's from the last EMT. I mean, it glitched the whole system. It's still formatting. 
What's it say? Okay, it's four columns. The first one is 400400. That's just over and over again. And then KJ, KJ repeats KJ. Okay, that's kilojoules. Boom. Ooh. Okay, that's definitely a firefight, and they're definitely getting closer. I would imagine there are troops on the ground that are probably just trying to hold their position. Right, what's the third column say? 1818, and then KHZ, KHZ, that's kilohertz. So they're talking about the heat ray? No. This is five times the strength of an electrical bolt. Electricity doesn't cycle that fast. This is light based. Okay, so what were they saying about kilojoules? Well, the 400 is 400. The 18 is five times the frequency of a light ray. If they're not talking about a heat ray, they're talking about a laser. Okay, okay, and, and the last column? Just read over and over again every 15 minutes for hours. The fact that there's a frequency that's corresponding to a high-powered laser tells me this is a weapon we can use against the aliens. So if we max out our laser, we could penetrate their energy shields. I mean, theoretically. I mean, it could. It could, it could, it could, it could. Ours is designed for guidance, though. I mean, if it's not meant as a weapon, we could maybe get one, maybe, maybe two shots off of it. Then the whole thing is just going to melt down and we'll be sitting ducks. Right, right, right. Okay, if you could fire on one of them and breach its hull, I could use their smoke delivery system and fire on the rest. What do you mean, climb inside the, the machine? Yeah. When I took the sample from the alien, I saw the smoke container in its cockpit. I could use the reagents to make a lethal dose. I think 500 parts per milliliter should do it. Yeah, I, I could spray it into the smoke delivery system in the tripod and then fire on the rest of them. Oh, God. But when they deploy their smoke, that will kill you. No, we have all this lab equipment. We've got chemical protective masks. We have the, the sprayer to spray on meteorites. We can protect ourselves. Okay. Here. Hang on. All right. Fill this up to the top. By the time they get here, we will dinner it enough. Okay. And working. I wish we could do something to lure them right here. Use the PA system. You get the mic close enough to the receiver, it feeds back. You think that's gonna work? It's not gonna sound human. Let's strap be careful. Let's give it a shot. The power to the laser is on maximum. Power resources say it's gonna hold. I can see it. It's just over the tree line. I've got an airport and heading outside. Allie, don't go. It's not holding. The circuit didn't hold. Don't go. Hold still. Henry, we don't have much time. They're gonna be within range to fire their heat rays any second. that is not the laser. I mean, there's no telling how many times I can fire this thing before it just blows up. Let's do it. It's all we got. 
What's their trajectory? I want to hear from you. Ready to fire.
I told you you're the only brother I got. We did it. I knew we would. You're pretty smart. Runs in the family, I think. Shut up, Henry. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> 